This is a Game Caviar production. Crisis! 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 Crisis 3! Crisis 3! It's so awesome, isn't it, guys? Look at how beautiful it looks. And this is just a really good game. And this is the beta, and everybody's all really excited for it. And, like, the people are going to buy it, and they're going to play online for years to come. It's going to be totally better than Call of Duty, right? This is Crisis 3 beta online gameplay. Some stupid-ass game mode. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know why they just didn't put... Um, like a team deathmatch in the game. I don't like this stupid cloak crap that they had in the uh, in the the last crisis. I don't know why they keep continuously put that in this game. If they have a game mode where it's just team deathmatch and you don't have the cloak and you just run around and you just do whatever you need to do to kill the other team, that would be a lot better and much more fun than doing this. I do feel as though the controls in this game are really good. I didn't have any problems with connection issues. I didn't have any problems with hit detection. I didn't have any of the things that you are accustomed to seeing in a Call of Duty game of your choice. Just pick one. They're all pretty much the same as far as the issues go. I don't know why these companies try so hard to be innovative online with these first person shooters you don't need to do that much to please people in uh, your please your customers look at what call of duty does now i mean you have to understand infinity warning treyarch has has given these companies the blueprint to success online gaming okay a company can take that blueprint and improve on what they've done or, or what you know fix the problems that play call of duty and they can have a really good game online battlefield 3 is a perfect example and battlefield 4 is going to be the same way battlefield basically took everything that was great about call of duty and they morphed it into battlefield especially with the close quarters expansion pack I mean, there's no kill streaks per se in Battlefield. Like, you're not going to get a, a Predator Missile or uh, a Harrier Strike or a Tactical Nuke. But you have vehicles. You can hop in a, a helicopter. You can hop in an F-15. You can hop in a in a, uh, a SU whatever fighter jet. You know, you can hop in an AC-130. Battlefield is fun, and it's something that that um. That will continue to be fun. It's a great game, you know. I don't know why. This game looks good. I, I will say that it looks good. I haven't played it on a PC, but I can imagine that it, it's going to look better on a PC. This is on PS3. It looks great, okay? I, I think the last game looked a little bit better, to be honest with you, but I need to play the single-player campaign and actually look at it to make sure. But it's, it's good. It's fluid. And although I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to do in this game mode, I did have fun playing it. So they have some basics. They have some basics. I, and then a lot of games that, that, you know, these shooting games, and they put this multiplayer component in the game because that's what's hot right now. Like, you have, they have really good ideas, and some of them are just, uh, what is it, executed poorly. And this is a perfect example of it. Why do you need to have the cloak? That's stupid. That's just promoting camping, which people hate, by the way. The majority of people do not like that. So why would you put that in the game? Now, I didn't really see that many people using the cloak uh, because if they were cloaked, I missed them. You know, uh, comedic drum roll. Of course, I wouldn't see them because they cloaked. But I didn't really get killed by too many campers while I was playing this. The other game mode is kind of like infected from uh, Modern Warfare 3 where you start off as a soldier and then if you get killed you come back as a cloaked uh, in a nano suit with a, a compound bow. If you ever if you ever get a chance to shoot a compound bow in real life try it out because it's really fun. I have a compound bow. I hunt um I didn't get a chance to do it this past hunting season because of school and 
work and whatever everything more important things were taking precedence over hunting but i do plan on doing it hopefully i can get out there for turkey season that's coming up pretty soon but what i will say is i like the fact that they incorporated the compound bow into this game that's pretty awesome uh, i think it's a different take on the crossbow that you find in uh, what is it black ops 2 the compound bow is really fun it is if the, like i said if they have a game mode where you don't have the stupid, uh, what is it, the stupid cloak suit or whatever, this game would be amazing. I mean, it would be a lot fun, a lot better online than it is right now. And I really wish they had a, I don't give a shit about the levels in, in the beta because I know it's a beta. But what I do, you see that I do get on, but what I do, uh, what I don't agree with, I should say, is the fact that they, they have these two... They have only two game modes, the, the like the Prey, I think it's called Hunter Prey or some shit, and they have this one where it's like Sector Control or something. Just give us a Team Deathmatch, man. Stop trying to be all fancy and cute. Give us the basic stuff so we can see exactly whether this game is going to be something that we want to play online. A lot of people are going to play it because of the single player storyline, and the game looks amazing and all that, and it's very popular, but I want to see more done in single player campaign. Like this video! I'm not having it in Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.